Right, welcome back. Um, this flight here flew over to Cross Car and on a wee bit further, um, and flew over the Short Cross Gin Estate, just outside Cross Car. So this is me just getting ready, give it a bit of pull, and away we go. Another successful uh, takeoff here, and everything went to plan. You can see here, uh, I'm running long. This is probably as good a takeoff as, as I've had here. Um, whenever I lift my legs there, there's no dip or anything. So the, the wing has took the full weight off the machine and is lifting me at that stage whenever I lifted my legs. So that's exactly how you want to do it. When I'm flying about, I usually wear sunglasses, but when I take off, I put them in my pocket first. Um, so take off, once I get up then, I'll uh, usually put them on. Um, however, on this occasion, I got up, uh, took them out of my pocket, and I think it's this clip here, yeah. I was just about to put them on here, and the, the winds blew them out of my hand. And uh, see me circling around, but there's, <laughs> there's no chance of seeing them. Um, so I've lost my sunglasses. Coming up here next is the Short Cross Gin and Whiskey Estate outside uh, Cross Car. Um, you can just see up on the top left there, there's like a wee monument. I'm not sure what that is, if someone would like to comment, if they know. A few people I know have uh, mentioned this place to me and highly recommended to do the tours on it. Yeah, I said it was a great day out. This here is just showing you where the monument is just. And, and this wee red pin here is just whereabouts it is in relation to Cross Gar. Yeah, so this is just a wee bit more of the state. Um, I presume that there's possibly down at the left hand side there is where the um, factory is. Looks, looks incredible from above this place so um, I'm going to have to get myself on a bit of a tour of it possibly. You can just see the moorings on the top left hand side of the screen in the distance and on the top right there there's another wee mountain and that is Sleeve Crib. I got a message from a guy, Matthew Barry. Uh, he got this good picture of me coming up next and he sent it through me so we shout out to him and this is where he took it here so uh, I thought it was good the way the the, uh, the planes in the background um, so this is uh, another person who contacted me said he seen me and he had kids so uh, just flying around here and dropped them off one of the wee parachute men this here is right towards Derry Boy direction here so yeah, just flying around here and you know, you'll see me just release it out of my hand. I'm still sort of trying to get my aim right with these here. Now that they're landed uh, just on the other side of the fence from his garden, so um, I'll release it up too early. But um, that's something I can work on. I think I mentioned on one of the previous uh, clips that I'm thinking of doing a video on putting a marker out in the field and flying at different heights there and see uh, how close you can get the parachute men to the marker. Right, the next clip coming up here, there's a guy who follows me on TikTok here and um, Barney's a big fan, so uh, give him a shout out to Hubert and uh, this is me just come past the house, giving a bit of a wave here. If anyone uh, sees me flying past or gets any good videos or anything like that there or pictures like I uh, was in this here, don't be afraid to give me a shout and send them to me and I'll uh, try and get them into some of the, the videos and hopefully give you a shout out. This is me just turning around here and coming up to the approach into the landing field here. Um, so that's coming to the end of this video and uh, as usual I really appreciate any uh, shares, likes or follows. Hopefully get another video up soon. Um, it's a wee bit more challenging in the winter time just uh, with the weather and stuff getting up. Yeah, this landing went very well. Although I slowed down a wee bit and the wings started going off to the right, but landed okay and safe, so all good. So thanks very much and I'll see you next time.